This is part two of five celebrities that train, compete in, and cherish jujitsu. Enjoy. Number one, Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy is mostly known for being a badass actor in movies like Venom or The Dark Knight Rises. In real life, he is pretty badass too. He recently competed in several BJJ tournaments and won three gold medals doing so. Tom started his BJJ journey in 2011 in preparation for the movie The Warrior, in which he plays an MMA fighter. At the time, he was 34 years old and knew little about fighting. Now, after 12 years of hard training, he is an advanced BJJ athlete who has already earned his blue belt and will probably soon be promoted to a purple belt, judging his incredible performance at his recent BJJ competitions. He won every single one of his seven fights through submission, showing off his technical and physical strength. Tom likes to get new insights by visiting different gyms and coaches. He has for example been training under big names like Heath Bedigo at Daisy Fresh and John Danaher at New Wave. The actor learned aspects of many martial arts including BJJ, boxing, wrestling and judo through his acting career and is one of few celebrities that take their skills and truly test it in a competitive environment. Tom Hardy is definitely a real martial artist. Ah yes, I was wondering what would break first. Your spirit. Oh, your money. Number two. Russell Brand. I am a student of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, also known as BJJ. Another English actor that made it on the list is Russell Brand. But he is not only an actor, comedian, singer, or author, most importantly, he is a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu practitioner. Russell started training Jiu Jitsu in 2016 when he was about 41 years old, and at first didn't like the close contact to other men. For me at first, I didn't even want the close physical contact of another male. I didn't want another male's stubble on my face. I don't want to feel breath against me. I don't want to feel someone else's weight on me. With time passing, he learned to love the sport and wished he had started earlier in his life, as many others do as well. The actor lists five things that he learned through jujitsu. 1. Acceptance. Everyone is equal on the mats and everyone faces the same difficulties there. 2. Humility, knowing your own limitations. 3. Confidence, knowing what you are capable of and realizing the potential for improvement. 4. Vulnerability, you cannot get too comfortable. 5. Respect, every belt should be treated with equal respect and members of the community should uplift each other. After receiving his blue belt and his purple belt, he posted videos of him recapping his journey, which he closed by saying, I am most grateful, I enjoyed it very much and I am very grateful to my teacher. I am very grateful to be continuing with the journey. Os. Russell most likely didn't compete in BJJ, since there is no footage of him doing so. He has over 7 years of experience under his belt and is unlikely to quit soon. We would love to congratulate him on achieving a brown belt or even a black belt in a few years of time. If you relax like we talked about and don't tense up to hey, death grip. It's me! Why are you doing it? Why so tense? It's me! <laughs> Number 3. Jonah Hill Another famous A-list actor on our list is Jonah Hill. He is one of the newer guys to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu as he is still a white belt. But that doesn't take anything away from his dedication to the sport. When Jonah got his first stripe, he posted this on Instagram. I started Brazilian Jiu Jitsu two months ago, and I try and train four to five times a week. In high school, the dudes who did Jiu Jitsu used to beat the shit out of us at parties, so it turned me off to it, as an idea growing up. But quietly, I always thought it was a beautiful art form. At 35, I try and get over the stuff that made me feel weak and insecure as a teenager. It's just wasted time and lessons you'll never learn, trying to let go of that. Nothing more humbling than getting your ass kicked by a 12 year old your first week. Got my first stripe today. I know it sounds corny, but it's pretty dope to jump in and do stuff you'd never think you'd be able to do. Much respect to Sensei Josh at Clockwork and Anthony for getting me into it. It is great to see more celebrities starting to enjoy the sport as it is very humbling and keeps them down to earth. Not to mention the importance of doing sports and maintaining a healthy body. 
Jonah started his BJJ journey in late 2018, so 2023 would be his sixth year of training under coach Josh Griffith, a third degree black belt at Clockwork Jiu Jitsu in New York. He said this in an interview. Okay, now we're getting into serious stuff. Jiu Jitsu. We hope to see more of Jonah's BJJ journey in the future and wish him an injury free path. Number four, Maynard James Keenan. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is probably the hardest thing I've ever done. A uh, long journey, as soon as you think you've gotten to a, a plateau, there's another plateau above that. It's uh, very humiliating. Uh, you have to proceed in that manner, uh, understanding that there's always somebody better, more technical, faster, stronger, all that. It's a, it's a wonderful journey. I highly recommend it. Maynard James Keenan is a singer, music producer, actor, and winemaker. He is best known as the primary lyricist of the rock bands Tool, A Perfect Circle, and Pussifer. When he is not busy touring the world and performing in front of huge crowds, he likes to do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu to keep him grounded. Maynard started training in 1996 under Hicks and Gracie when he was 32 years old. Being this busy, Maynard climbed the belt rankings at a slower pace than average. But back in 2021, after 25 years of hard training, he was promoted to brown belt by Luis Heredia, a well-known Hicks and Gracie black belt professor. Maynard mainly uses BJJ to help him grow personally and as a self-defense tool. The singer even used jiu-jitsu during one of his concerts while performing Push It by Tool and kept performing while holding his victim in a rear naked choke. We are fans of Maynard's musical endeavors and it is great that we share the same passion for BJJ. I'm going to train jiu-jitsu. Okay, we're going to bring it back to that because that's that's our that's our that's our uh, our our base here. Uh if I'm, you know, if I'm going to train with somebody, every different, every body type is going to be a different thing. And I can't just, you know how it is. If you, if you're just going to force your will on some other dude, then it's just two idiots f trying to force their will on each other. And you're going to gas out. Number five, Keanu Reeves. The actor Keanu Reeves is mostly known for his iconic roles of Neo in The Matrix or John Wick in the same titled movie series. In these movies he performs many incredible stunts and fighting scenes with his enemies. And for them to look anything like a real fight, the actor needs to know how to move in a real fighting scenario. That is why Keanu started training BJJ in 2014 when he was preparing for the movie John Wick. He started when he was 50 years old and is most likely still a white belt, even though 2023 is his 10th year of training. The actor uses martial arts to enhance his movie scenes and make them look incredible and real, but not become a master of BJJ or any martial art. Keanu's coaches are the famous Machado brothers, and he mainly trains under John Machado. During his preparation for John Wick, he used to train for two hours a day, every day, which shows tremendous dedication to his craft. Although he will most likely never compete in a real BJJ or MMA fight, he definitely has the necessary fundamental knowledge to do so. Keanu Reeves respects the sport and is a great representative of Jiu Jitsu. We hope he will keep training even if there is no action movie in the making. If you want to read more about these celebrities or are interested in BJJ in general, visit our blog at bjjdivision.com for more information about everything crappling related. Stay tuned for the next part of this series. Links are in the description below. Peace.